Hello, friend. Here we are at the very end of our movement around the wheel. These videos have been, you know, just a brief introduction to each and every one of the of the gates and the uh, quarters and understanding them. So the quarter of mutation, this is purpose fulfilled through transformation. So if you have your, you know, son in um, any one of these gates, that's really what your purpose, how you're going to fulfill your purpose. So here we have it here. And what's really interesting now, just uh, what I always think is fascinating is to see like, what is there a channel that gets created? Where is everything distributed? Those kind of things. So here's what's really fun is take a look. The, the mutation isn't happening emotionally or on a, a, you know, a health, wellness, fear-based. That's not where transformation is happening. That's not where mutation is happening, even though those are, you know, that's awareness. You'd think that that's where it would be taking place. Where it's taking place here, it's actually generative. And this channel, this channel of explore, exploration is about living life to your own convictions. Interesting, right? That that's how we can mutate is the individuality. This is the cent as a part of the centering circuit. You know, that individuality. That's where mutation is going to happen. And this should actually say channel of mutation, not duality. Sorry, I just copy and paste it. So the cycle of an authentic and transformed life is brought to completion to a satisfying, successful, peaceful, or surprisingly de delightful end. We are all going to drop these meat suits. These meat suits at this point are carbon-based and they don't go on forever. Yes, we can love them, we can cherish them, we can feed them high quality vegetables, um, you know, supplement, um, whatever we need to do. We can do a lot, we can exercise, we can meditate, we can do all kinds of stuff. But eventually the, the carbon-based um, body will shed its reality here. So every ending is a new beginning and preparations for the next level of incarnation are anticipated. So the 13th gate is where we hop in to the next quarter. So, you know, as we walked through this quarter of mutation, you know, that, that whole, you know, creative self-expression, having breakthrough insights, paying attention to how we use our own um, resources and our own power and where we focus that energy and our own timing and, you know, being able to manipulate and um, persuade the memories so that we're not letting anything hold us back. And then trusting that there's going to be all kinds of ideas and not everyone has to come to a manifestation, right? The 11th gate is a great teacher. And then that 10th gate that's helping us create this, this channel of exploration, um, you know, that... that deep sense of self-love that's built right into human design. And then we go to the joy, the joy uh, and the vitality of, of being in this mutative experience and knowing what do I fight for, fighting for my own individuality. And then, you know, trusting that it's okay to be ambitious on this material plane and to um, fulfill my own personal potential, not anybody else's, not anybody else's um, ideas of who they think I am, and trusting that my own inner truth and that my limitation is bringing me a great amount of mutation, and then just letting the desires um, that present themselves to allow my strategy and authority 
to fulfill whatever desire, you know, that is interesting for me and, and, and is correct for me and correct for my own convictions. And then, you know, understanding that at the whole core base of all of this, you know, there's this need for basic human needs, shelter, water, food, and spirit. So in this quarter, purpose is fulfilled by attaining your full potential for transformation and awareness. And that is what human design is asking us to do. Have a self-reflected, conscious life. And that's really what the game is right now. You know, we're being watched. We're being observed. We're being, um, hmm. it's like an experiment. Can we drop into human form and have a self-reflected conscious experience? You know, knowing that whatever's happening on the inside is mirroring on the outside. So thank you very much for um, walking around the wheel with me. So if there's anything that intrigues you and you want to connect, great. Um, if not, thank you very much for going around the mandala with me in these little brief um, introductions to the gate.